And those walkouts began here in Wisconsin as well. In several communities across our state, students poured out of their classrooms to ask lawmakers to take action. Our Naomi Coles has more. There is a note of almost desperation and despair in the students taking to loudspeakers to get their message across today. A sense that they have been here before and they could well be here again. Nothing has changed. When is it going to be enough? It's easier to get a gun than a therapist. Let's make it easier to get a damn therapist and harder to get a gun. Across the state, across the nation, students walking out, begging those in power to make it harder for them to be gunned down. The people who are making laws are not doing anything. They're saying their hands are tied. They're saying it's too complex when it's really not. They're being cowards. Gun violence is an ongoing human rights issue. In Stoughton, in Whitefish Bay, in Monroe, students in Wisconsin are asking lawmakers to do their job. Basic background checks for everyone. Gun reforms that other countries put in place long ago expanded mental health access. And I'm European, so for us, that is not something that happens. I mean, I think we've had one in the past 15 years. Um, so I just think it's ridiculous that that's even going on. The message from all remained the same. There's been more than 200 mass shootings in the U.S. this year, and today is only the 146th day of 2022. It became real to me when my 11-year-old sister didn't want to go to school because she was scared. We are just so fed up. We cannot keep letting this fly by. We're trying to speak up for ourselves, the people that are being killed, because no one else is doing it for us. Other schools throughout our area are making plans to participate in the continuing school walkout in days to come. Plus, Public Health Madison and Dane County's Farmers Market have Wear Orange events planned for next week, protesting gun violence. Naomi, thank you. Be the first to know as we learn new information about the Texas shooting. You can follow the latest details on channel3000.com and on our News 3 Now apps.